all right everybody welcome to your fifth ECMAScript tutorial in which I'll be showing you what is let keyword in ES6 and pretty much how it diff how it is different from the var keyword so first of all let me just get rid of this file script compile and change this to script.js only so that it makes a bit of sense and just delete this file as well and remember that if you are deploying your web application for server and you're just making your website live then you will obviously need to compile your ES6 code into ES5 because you know you just can't tell everybody to enable the experimental flag features on your Google Chrome browser so that was a bit of advice all right, so now what this let keyword is, is that it just lets, lets you define variables just like in JavaScript. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna write u strict so that JavaScript throws in a lot of errors if I do a silly mistake even. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna say let my first variable is one var my first variable is 2 and if I just console log my first variable and reload this page uh, okay I guess just remove these two lines reload and as you can see we get this error so that means that let is pretty much doing the same job which the war keyword does and it is that it is declaring a variable so if i just change this to two and reload you can see we got one in the console well that was something obvious so what's the difference well the difference is that there's a difference of kind of a scope so if you create something like for y i is 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus and if you just console log i here then what happens is that once you have declared this then this is available here as well so this the scope of this var i is not limited to this for block but is actually limited to global or basically it's not limited at all to be very precise so eventually if you just alert I here and if I reload this page as you can see I got 5 as the alert because once the loop was over you can see that I comes out to be 5 because once I is 4 then it consoles log 4 then it increments I and then it checks that hey I is 5 is not less than 5 5 is actually equal to 5 so it just breaks out of the loop and i is alerted as 5. Now what if I change this code to let? Well, if we reload now, as you can see that in the console we got the same output just like we had in the var keyword but this time this i is not defined or basically this i is defined but is not available here. So that is a basic difference between the let keyword and the var keyword and you will probably want to use the, this let keyword because it solves a bunch of problems and I guess I have used this somewhere in closures as well because you know there's a workaround for closures if you have read about that that when if your code is like if you're using like set timeout or something like that in a closure when you require it then you have to just invoke an anonymous function and pass the argument and uh, you know you get the idea something like that you'll be thinking that what the heck is going on but don't worry if you don't get that we'll be covering that real soon so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at some more awesome things in ESX so stay tuned